Thank you. Good evening, y'all. <laughs> hey, Shirley. My name is Danny White. Have you ever considered what equity and food access looks like for your neighbors with disabilities? You see, I have always lived within reasonable walking distance to a grocery store. The ability to do so was on the list of requirements for a community where my mother could live and thrive in her independence. My mother, Mrs. White, has been in a wheelchair all of my life. Because of that, I have always viewed the world through a lens of accessibility. When I was able to have a home of my own, I requested that my home be wheelchair accessible. In 2015, the community surrounding Arbor Park Village followed my parents' checklist. Things like being on a bus sign and in a walking distance to the grocery store top this list. In 2019, my walk to the store went from five minutes to 30 minutes. The difference of 1.4 miles changed Central's food access for everyone. From this, I thought, hmm, this community is no longer a place my mother can live and exercise her independence. Does this mean that all central residents with disabilities would also have difficulty accessing what they need? Fast forwarding to 2022, we find that the central community is still without a grocery store. While working at the East 39th Community Garden last year, I had the opportunity to work with students from East Tech that had varying levels of abilities and disabilities. In observation of them, I learned that they may not have the resources to leave high school and support them in living a reasonably self-sufficient life. For just a moment, just a moment, close your eyes. Um, I'm checking all eyes too, all of them. I see them all, all right. Imagine how your life would change if your community's grocery store closed. What can you and your neighbors access? What has become inaccessible? What would you do to be the change? Opening your eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My vision for food justice helps central residents who have been excluded from economic and educational opportunities due to their abilities or history, who need better access to sustainable work and quality food by creating a vocational community farm and focusing on employing, educating, and feeding the surrounding communities. Neighbors Community Farm can aid in wellness in Central by supporting the creation of a health campus that utilizes and promotes the eclectic, unlimited abilities of this community to further wholesome growth by creating therapeutic and rehabilitating opportunities that nourish, empower, and inspire the residents of Central and their future generations. A few moments ago, when you closed your eyes and imagined a change, did it look like what I proposed to you? If so, I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. <laughs> to bring this vision into Central, I need support in land acquisition, consultation on the starting operations of a farm, guidance and advocacy for people with disabilities, and volunteers to grow this mustard seed vision into fruitful works. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs>